But I believe there's people in here this morning, you may have never been here before, and something in you just said, you need to get to that place. Yes. You may, or maybe you've been coming, and you've been hearing the sermons, and they are great, but they're just not getting deep in you because there seems to be a lack of longing. Or maybe there's someone in here like me, and I just I just kept saying the prayer over and over again, thinking that was gonna that was gonna do it. Till finally I read the next verse in Romans 10. When it says, For with the heart man turneth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made to salvation. You can ask for forgiveness all day long and then walk out that door and your heart posture be to where you're gonna interrupt back into sin. And I would question your salvation. So if you're in here today, with every head bowed and every eye closed, if you're in here today and you say, Preacher, listen, I don't know that I'm saved. I don't know that I'm saved. And today is the day. And I need to be saved. I'm tired of being the Lord of my life. And I want to let Jesus be the Lord of my life. If that's you, with nobody looking around, I want you to put your hands up. Move when the Holy Spirit moves. Come on, guys. If that's you. Because the Holy Spirit's the one that draws people to salvation, is what Scripture says. Where are you at? Put them up high. No one's looking around. Come on. Put them up high. I want to see. I want to see. Amen. Let's see those hands. Amen. Amen. Listen, I'm going to lead you in a prayer, but this prayer only makes sense if your heart's ready to turn. Well, let's say, Jesus. All of us together, let's pray with them. Jesus, Jesus. I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I ask you to be the Lord of my life. I choose right now to give you everything. I let go of the reins. I give you all of the good stuff and the bad stuff. Please save me. Please save me. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go. Hey, there were several hands that went up today. Several hands that went up. The angels are rejoicing. Don't let them not do you. Don't let them not do you. The second thing. Here's the second thing. I really do feel like there's people called in here to evangelize. That's all of you. But I also feel like there's people that say, you know what? I do feel called into full-time ministry. No matter what that looks like, whether it's to be a pastor, whether the Lord's laid on your heart to be an evangelist, to be a missionary, to lead worship, whatever it is, whatever it is, if you don't say anything, and if you don't walk out Isaiah 6 like when he was standing in the courtroom of heaven hearing a conversation between the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit who will we send? And he goes, here am I. Send me. So this morning if that's you and, I, and, and, and again I feel like this is jumping and stirring in your stomach. I want you to step out and come up here to this old-fashioned altar right now. I want you to move. If that's you, if you feel like God is calling you into ministry, I want you to move. I know there's at least one or two people. Come on, guys. There it is. There it is. Come on. Who else? Where's the young man? Come on, young man. Come on. You know, you know the Lord's talking to you. You know the Lord's talking to you. We may not may not do this often, but but I, I believe the Lord's doing some future Sunday school teachers. You got you got you got few future pastors, preachers. You may have the next Billy Graham in here. Oh, you, that was a good moment to clap right there. And last but not least, how many of you believe? 
believe that you're called to do the work of an evangelist. We just talked about it. I want to see hands. If your hand's not up, I will be more than happy to take you in the Bible and show you where he's speaking to a crowd of people and says, do the work of an evangelist. We're all called to do it. So if you got your hand raised right now, and those up front that are up here that are saying, I send me God, send me God. If you got your hand up right now, I'm going to pray for you. And I'm going to pray straight, and I'm going to pray and ask for boldness on your heart. So Father, right now, we just thank you that you are good. You are good all the time. And Lord, you call people still to this day. You actually, in, in, in Luke 10, it says, pray that the Father will ekbalo, is the Greek word there, or raise up laborers that will labor in my house. You still do that today, God. You still call people. So Father, right now, these are people that have their hands up at the altar. And then there's also people out in the, in the audience, Lord, that say, you know what? I'm going to commit to preach your name. I'm going to be a missionary to my job, a missionary to my family, a missionary to every grocery store that I walk into. Wherever I go, I won't just speak the gospel, but I will walk it out. I will do it in word and in deed. In Jesus' name. do one more thing real quick because I just when I married my wife hear me real quick church when I married my wife if, if I would have walked out when it was time to, to say the covenantal vows and when they when, when they turned to me and said would you like to give your, your vows to my wife if I just looked at her and went It may not have been very good. It may not have went over well. I believe that those of you today that accepted Jesus, I believe that you made a commitment that all of heaven is rejoicing. And we want to rejoice with you. So this is one final thing. I'm asking for an Acts 4 boldness from you. I'm asking you to, to stand there and say your vows. And what I mean by that is, I just want you to come up front real quick. I just want you to come up front. If you accepted Jesus today, all those hands that went up, I want you to come up here just so that we can encourage you and bless you. Can you do that? Can you, can, you, can, can, can you come on? If you accepted Jesus today as your Lord and Savior, and you said, you know what? I, I can't do anything without you. I want you to stand right down here. I see a couple hands over here. I don't know where you are. If that's you, if you got saved today, if for the day, today you said, Lord, I'm giving you everything. I want you to run down here in front of these, in front of these brothers right here, sisters. I want you to run over here. Come on. Come on. Greater friendship. I want to introduce you to your new sisters and your new brothers in the Lord. Can you greet them? Can you, can, can you cheer for them right now because they have been accepted by Jesus. They have accepted you. Come on, you can do better than that. Father, I thank you for this wonderful service. I thank you that you've moved, God, to save souls. Father, as an 
an outside minister, I just want to pray a blessing. I believe scripture talks about that. So all the way from Texas, Lord, would you bless Greater Friendship Missionary Baptist Church, God. Would you bless them, God, with strength? Would you bless them, God, with boldness? And Father, let your mercies be renewed every day. In Jesus' name. Celebrate, let's celebrate the name of Jesus. Come on, all over the room, let's celebrate the power of Jesus Christ. Somebody see your head said a word, head clap your hand, but at least give God a hand to pray. Come on, shout hallelujah. The gospel message has gone forth. We ought to be shouting all over this room. Some ways of some updated ways. 